Okay, guys, this is your top 10 list for next week, 623. Um, this is an interesting week. I'll try to break it down the best I can for you. Um, we're going to get straight to it. There's going to be two number 10s. Okay, so we'll do that first. Uh, this is also a giveaway video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment your like number as well so that I can enter you in. And at the end of this video will be the giveaway for last week. I'm going to start giving away comics again. Uh, I've been feeling that thought. Okay, so here we go. Uh, at number ten, we got two books. I'm going to start with vinyl number one. This is cover B. Cover A just has a dude's face. Uh, it's plastic creators Dub Wagner and Daniel Hillard return with Eisner Award winner David Stewart for an unsettling tale of psychopath, sweet love, and a serial killer named Walter. When Walter's best friend, the FBI agent charged with his capture is kidnapped by a death cult of an all-female sunflower farmers walter finds himself deep within an underground labyrinth filled with secrets of monsters but are there monsters more than horrific are there monsters more than horrific than him so i don't know yet we'll find out could be good and also for number 10 motherfuckers number one there's a bunch of different fun covers um when i get them i'll make them available in my store uh, next week, I wasn't sure if I was able to get them because they were allocated, but it looks like they're sending them to me. This is the one in ten garbage belt kid variant. I really like it, and I think it's a Netflix uh, series. Uh, but anyway, check that out later. Okay, at number nine. So this is Wolverine number thirteen, the Humanist Pride Virgin cover. It's a one in fifty. Um, the reason I have it on my list is because it's Dakin. I haven't seen Dakin in a long time and it's a decent cover. So I like it because it's him and I haven't, when's the last time you heard of Dake? I haven't heard about him forever. So that's Wolverine number 13, the one in 50. Number eight is infinite frontier. Number one, possible first appearances in there. When our heroes save the multiverse from Perpetua and dark Knights, death metal, uh, Everything was put back where it belonged, and we do mean everything. All the damage of the crisis was undone, and heroes long thought gone returned from whatever exile they had been in. Most of them, at least. Alan Scott, the Green Lantern from the Justice League of Society of America, has noticed some of his allies are still missing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Plus, what does it mean for the DCU's place in the multiverse? Not to mention Darkseed. Or a team of multiversal heroes called Justice Incarnate. So, a couple keys in there, most likely, maybe a new appearance. Number seven, another title from DC is Checkmate, number one. I really like the sound of the story. It's kind of like people that um, keep their eye on superheroes, like a team, almost like S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. And I'm pretty sure there's a first full appearance in here as well. Damon Rose. Damien Rose something like that okay so maybe look out for that number six gamma flight i'm not going to show you all the covers i know you guys have asked please show the cover look this is my favorite one this is the new team story spinning out of immortal hulk gamma flight it's the one in 25 car andrews right i think it'll be hot because of its homage but it whole new world of gamma okay number five another ratio variant silk number four the jenny frizen variant one in 25. Love it. Number four. Marvel Voices Pride number one. This is the cover with the character that has a shield. He's not a new cap, but the way the stories are going with the shields getting passed around to people that are like heroes in their cities. I believe this is the, the one with his first cover appearance before he even has a first appearance. So. This cover could be hot. This is the Gonuccio variant. Number three, we interviewed uh, Tony Fleece last week. It was really fun. Stray Dogs, great book. Number five, this is like the conclusion, I believe, of this arc or story. Um, I know there's a zero coming out as well, but this is it. And this is the Friday the 13th homage cover. Um, so I'm super excited about that. At number two, something is killing the children. I got a lot of 75. I got so many orders of this stuff. 
uh, because the cover B is a glow in the dark. But this is a one in twenty five. It's basically an origin story or continual origin story of Eric Slaughter. It's a big deal. This book is super hot. Plus, it says the dreaded black room with her new nemesis, Aaron. I don't know. I haven't been reading all of them yet. I'm not caught up, but if that could be a first appearance. And number one is Spawn Universe. Number one. There's all those J. Scott Camp Campbell covers. This is the one in 50. This will be the most sought after cover because I believe there's two new appearances of enemies. So that's big. I'll let, if, if Spawn starts to take off even more and more, this is the new universe type of thing, the beginning of everything. When next week after this is Spawn 319, I think, which continues it or something. If they appear in this book, this will be the book of the week and the cover of the week, the one in 50. So that's it, guys, for your top 10 this week. Maybe you picked some up, maybe you didn't. It's all good. I hope you did get some of them. And it is time for your giveaway. So let's go. Okay, guys, time for your giveaway. Comic book style. If you're a sicko member, you're going to win twice. Either way, you are a sicko. So I'm going to press the button, and here we go. Sean Mack. My favorite is Nightwing. Taylor is knocking this book out of the park, and we get the first appearance of Heartless. Can't go wrong. Sean Mack, you are the winner. Let me double check your number 159. Let us see. There are a lot of comments. You are a sicko member, dude. Hell yeah. You won. Send, you're going to be happy today. Send me name and address. Boom. Today is some goodies. Okay. Let me pin. Boom. All right, Sean Mack. This is what you won, brother. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. You get the number two, Carla Cohen, one in ten, Invincible Red Sonia. And, because you're a sicko, Tankers, number two, first print. So there you go, Mac Daddy. Those are some sick ass books. Hit me up. You guys know what to do. And how to win, all you got to do is comment. So we'll see you on the sixth side. Peace.